Hello, wonderful people. Welcome back to my channel, The Teacher's Best Friend. And this is Mary Lou Areno. So for today's episode, I'm going to share with you some motivation for success. And uh, since it's the starting of another school year, I am going to give you some tips or uh, inspiring words and quotes on how to start the school year right. It is better to have our correct or the right mindset to start the year so that everything will be easy and everything will be coming as you plan. Okay, are you ready? Let's begin. So, what do you do on the first days of school will determine your success or failure for the rest of the school year. So what it means is like, as I mentioned in my last episode, is you need to have a set rules, classroom management, your classroom is organized, and so on. And not only that, it's not only the classroom, it's not only your classroom management that matters. You have to start the school year right by having a positive attitude with your work, with your students, and how you face the challenges this coming school year or with the opening of the school for this school year 21 and 22. So that matters how you set your mind and your heart to face the students can make a big difference and it create it will create your success or failure for the rest of the year so you need to start it right okay so i would like to ask you do you consider yourself an efficient or an effective teacher well an effective teacher affect lives so let's see when we say efficient these are the teachers who always do things right, okay? They want it perfect, they want it correct, and they want it right. But an effective teacher is a teacher who always do the right thing. So those are two different words, efficient or effective. So decide which one are you, or maybe you are both, and that's good. And I would like to share with you the four stages of teaching so that you will realize where you are at this point in time. It's good to have some reflection for uh, being a teacher so that you will realize how you are affecting your students or how are you performing in your class or how you set your mind to be a teacher. So four stages of teaching. Let's see, stage one, it's called fantasy, okay? And they said, usually the new teachers, those are fresh from college. They feel like they have a high spirit, the drive to teach and all that. And they feel like they are infallible because they think like as long as you make lessons fun, you will be okay. And as long as you will be friends with your student, you will be okay. So that is the stage one. It's like a fantasy, like teaching is just, you know, having leisure, having friends with your students or establishing rapport or having fun class or fun activities. Okay, so what is stage two? Oh no, stage two is a survival. And I don't think uh, most of you would not like to be in this stage two, survival. So a teacher who is in the survival stage are the teachers who prepare lessons sometimes without considering curriculum, without considering the standards, they will prepare lessons to get by. You know, something like they call it to prepare uh, work for students to keep them busy. And they are not more of uh, doing accountability. 
They don't care whether their students will have a high score with an assessment and all that. All they care is they will survive the day, they have work for their students, and they get by on a daily basis. And of course, the, what matters is they get paid, the paycheck. So stage two, the survival. And I hope no one of you belong to the stage two or the survival stage, okay? And stage three is a teacher who has mastery. When you say mastery, it's like these are the teachers who implement the standards, who implement the curriculum according to what is expected of them. And they make sure that their students make progress they make sure that their students will move from uh, this uh, step one to step two and to step three because they have mastery of the lesson and they and you see, you see the achievement level is increasing. So those are the master teachers. They care about what they teach. They care about the curriculum and how their students learn and how their students succeed. And that's an ideal teacher, isn't it? But what is a stage four teacher or stage four teaching? Let's find out. So stage four is the teacher who make impact. They make impact on the lives of their students. These are the teachers who usually uh, will not forget by their students. Students who even though they are already in college, they still go back and uh, visit their teachers and thank them for being successful in life because these are the teachers who affect lives, the lives of their students, because they don't care only about the curriculum, about mastery. Of course, they do care about mastery. They do care about achievement, but most of all, they care about the lives and um, how they affect individual students in terms of uh, their visions in life, how they become a better person, how they become a productive member of the society. So students can sense that, the teachers that make impact because they don't only care about you passing, but they care about students to be successful in their life and be a better person. So that's stage four teacher, the one that makes impact. So with those four stages of teaching, the fantasy, the survival, the mastery, and the impact, I know most of us started probably from stage one, but we move along. And hopefully at this point in time, we are in the stage three and four already. And if we are not yet, we should not give up. We just have to try and we will get there and become a master and a teacher who make impact on the lives of our students. So those are the four stages of teaching. And I would like to remind you that our profession is a very noble profession because we are not only developing minds and brains, but we are affecting lives. So that's my inspiration for you for this school year. So thank you for watching. And uh, for those who haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. And I hope I inspired you to become a master and a teacher who makes impact on the lives of the students. So I would like to say bye for now. And to God be the glory. See you next time and good luck to all of you this coming school year. Okay, so bye for now. See you.